How's it going everybody? My name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. And I'm here today with my good friend Chris Wilkes from Black Creek Bushcraft and Survival. Or on YouTube, Chris Wilkes Survival. We're here today to do the review nobody asked for, but everybody wants to see the Condor Bush Lord. Where do you want to start? Oh man, there's so much to be said about this thing. Yeah. For starters, it's like a $40 knife. And it's got like a $20 sheath. Great piece of leather. A lot of people love the Condor sheaths. A lot of people have a bone to pick. But seriously, those are people who can't be happy. Well, yeah, you can't please everybody. That's for sure. There's always going to be critics. I think the sheath is a great place to start. If you've owned Condor sheaths, then you already know that this is about as good of a sheath as you can ask for if you don't mind a couple of rivets in there and a lot of people don't it's good heavy leather it is too i mean they do their sheaths right but i mean everybody knows that if you you know had a condor knife it's one of the things they do very well and this is a very well made sheath for sure absolutely very thick welt very yeah it's well. basically like uh it's like a really good belt thickness you got a really good heavy leather belt that's about that thick if you don't like this sheath and a $40 knife, I don't know what to tell you. On to the knife. There's been lots of reviews done about this knife. You know, it's got a lanyard hole. It's uh, some kind of a dark hardwood handle. Regardless of what they say it is, who knows? They probably use what they have at the moment. The blade has some kind of a coating to it. What, what is that exactly? Um... I don't know a better way to describe it, but to say some type of coating. <laughs> you know, it's not a paint. Uh, it's not a stain. Uh, it's it's almost like a paint, really. Yeah. Uh, which is really good for a high carbon steel knife. It protects the knife. You're not going to have any rust in this pro in this part of the knife, as long as this coating is on there. So let's talk about the knife itself. Now this is Dave's knife. But I have owned this knife before. And the thing I like to say about it is I have tested this knife right alongside knives that were five to seven times more expensive than this knife. And it performed just as well as any other knife that I was testing. For me, that has a lot to do with the, the geometry of the knife. So, it is a knife that's not overly thick. You would say, I don't have the specs in front of me, but one eighth inch probably. Yeah, roughly. Roughly one eighth inch. I like a knife that's roughly the, the width of my palm. What's the length on this? About four and a quarter? I think four that's about what it is. Okay. So four and a half is for me top end for a belt knife. So anything from about this distance or so is what I like in a belt knife. Just feels real good. You don't have too much blade working over the top when you're working. So I really like the style. I do too. I actually fell in love with the Condor Wood Law. I bought a Wood Law as a blank and put my own handles on it. And I loved it. It has a straight handle. You can't hold it in a way that you don't like it. So having carried that knife for a year and a half, when I got this one, I was really kind of kind of up in the air about how I would feel about you know such a contoured handle, such a form-fitting handle that fits your hand one way, but you flip it around and it doesn't. The honest truth is, you can flip it any way you want. It feels pretty good. It also has a really long handle. Now again, I'm not a specs guy. I don't say well, it's the, the specs are what matters. What matters is how it feels to the person who uses it, and the proof is in. The <laughs> the proof is in the pudding on this one because regardless of how much I love my wood law I've been carrying this sucker for months yeah you've carried it all week long and you've enjoyed using it I can tell and I could walk across the yard and get my wood law yeah Chris and I have spent the last six days bushwhacking all over Alaska we went down to the Alaska range we went up uh, the Steese Highway north of, north of Fairbanks and we floated Birch Creek. We just got back from Minto Flats today where we were out pike fishing and, and camping overnight. And although I have 
condor woodlot that I absolutely adore, I took this one. And I love it, and I can't find anything I don't like about it. The woodlot was what I would consider an invisible knife. Like, there's nothing about it that calls attention to itself when you use it. I love the Woodlaw because it's just, it's a natural feeling knife. You pick it up and it feels right, and you work with it, and you like to work with it, and there's nothing that you're like, ah, oh, I wish it was something else. This one's the same way. Like, it's like an extension of, of your hand. It, it fits perfect. I like the size of the blade. I like the profile of the blade. I'm happy when I use it. There's nothing about it that says, I'm unsatisfied with this, or I would rather this be something else. And you've got extra large hands. I have pretty good size Your hands, yeah. you've got pretty good size mitts. So you really like this handle. A lot. Matter of fact, that handle is a bit longer than the wood law. And when I use that and then use the wood law, I almost wish the wood law's handle was longer. Yeah. I like the spear point design. Mm -hmm. It's a classic design. I like a Scandi grind. Yep. What do you think of that Scandi grind? I personally like it. I think it's a good grind for the width of the steel and for the type of steel we're dealing with here. This is 1075. With a hardness, I think, if I remember correctly, probably somewhere in the 55 range. Yeah. So this is a good grind where you're not going to get a real thin edge that might roll on you. Uh, but it still cuts. I mean, I, I think it cuts pretty well. What do you think? I think I might be happier with the grind if it was steeper so it could be thinner. But I don't know. And you know, don't until you try and you might. I'd be right. better to grab another one and try it. Right. Because you get some wear on a knife, you get some use on it, and then it starts becoming part of your history and you don't want to butcher it. And right. Like, you don't want to start all over with a fresh knife. Yeah, if you had a knife that you felt like you could do some experimenting on, it'd be worth uh, testing that out. I like thin edges. I do too. I, they cut well. Um, the thinner this edge, the higher this grind is, the better the geometry is going to be, and the better it's going to cut and slice and perform. Uh, yeah, if you can manage to do that and you've got good performance out of the edge, that'd be a win for sure. I think so too. It does seem to get dull fairly quick. Yeah. But that's soft steel. It, yeah. So, so this would be a good time for me to say, I've already said I own the knife. It performed as well as any other knife I was testing at the time. Knives that were much, much more expensive. I don't own this knife anymore. Why would that be? And the answer is, I just made a decision that 1075 steel wasn't for me. Right. Because, and, you know, and I do like sharpening knives. I don't mind it at all. But you are going to have to sharpen your knife regularly. It's, it's the only real downside to the knife. I love the fact that Condor makes stuff that is economical and durable. And it's, it's quality for value. You get a lot of bang for your buck with a knife like this. If you want something that's harder and is going to hold an edge better, I want you guys to go over to Chris Wilkes Survival and get a taste for a lot of different knives. Because the knife reviews on my channel, there's only going to be about six of them because I only really own like six knives. What else could we possibly say? I don't know. All right, guys, that's a talk about Condor Knives with my buddy Dave Whipple up here in beautiful land of the midnight sun. Alaska, Fox Alaska, we would say. Fox right? Alaska. <laughs> so to wrap up the to wrap up the review on the Condor Bushlord, great knife. It's cheap, but it's not cheap quality. It's a well-made knife. Feels great in the hand. It's a design a lot of people like. It's a forty-dollar knife. You can wear this knife, use this knife, and feel like you've got a real piece of gear. Right there at the very top of values for the money when it comes to knives. Condor gives you something that's simple, utilitarian, in a, in a design that's aesthetically pleasing. What more could you want? <laughs>